What's in store for the winter of 1998-99? Howling winds and snow? or mild temperatures and plenty of sun. Now, in places like Punxsutawney, they answer these questions by sticking their hand into a burrow, pulling up a groundhog, and checking out his shadow, which is really silly, because as everybody knows, all you need to predict the weather is a caterpillar. 79-year-old Frank Leiter works for the second oldest almanac in America, the Hagerstown Town and Country Almanac. Every year, school children bring Frank their woolly bears, and every year, he reads the caterpillar stripes. If you look at the band in the front, that is the band that shows what the first part of winter will be, and you notice that that band is wider than the band in the back here, and this band is very narrow this year. If woolly bears are mostly black, you're going to have a hard winter, if mostly brown, an easy winter. Dr. Simon Bronner has file cabinets full of weather folklore in his offices at Penn State Harrisburg. He says a lot of these weather legends popped up when farmers noted the habits of their animals just before bad weather. It'll rain if all the cows are laying down and headed the same way. Frogs, if you hear a frog screaming or bellowing at night, that means rain is going to come. So are animals smarter than humans when it comes to the weather? Smarter maybe in the sense of being more in tune with nature. An early version of the National Weather Service could have been a couple of farmers standing around comparing caterpillars or scanning the horizon for sun dogs. There are little spots of light on the horizon that indicate uh, an ice or snowstorm is coming. Nowadays, the Weather Service has replaced caterpillars with computers to explain many of the old superstitions, like sun dogs, which it turns out is sunlight reflected off ice crystals hovering in the air. The, the halo around the moon, moon, the rain will become soon. Um, here again, that goes back to ice crystals, a large storm, clouds moving in at the high levels. Red in the morning, as Taylor take warning. When you think of the sun when it's rising in the morning, um, if it's red, you usually have uh, clouds uh, moving in from the west. Generally, you'll get some sort of weather from it. It might just be rain, it could be a major storm. So what about the winter of 98-99? The Caterpillar says... Should have a normal winter to start with, but then very mild to end with. And the computer says... For at least the early part of the winter, starting out a little warmer and, and drier than normal. But as the winter progresses, it looks like it'll be getting colder. So take your pick. As for me, I'm going to go look for some more sundogs. Don Rooney, Eyewitness News.